Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 to 36. Jesus made the disciples get into a boat and precede him to the other side of the sea, while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles offshore, was being tossed about by the waves, for the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It is a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. But when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him, and said to him, O oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage and saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. After making the crossing, they came to a land at Gennesaret. When the men of that place recognized him, they sent word to all the surrounding country. People brought to him all those who were sick, and begged him that they may touch only the tassel of his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Through St. Peter's example, we have an insight of how to carry ourselves when facing distractions and fear. The strong wind we encounter today in the Gospel can represent the sudden and overwhelming events that can occur within our lives that blows us off course in our spiritual journey. Sometimes it can be in the form of unexpected illness or death in the family, or perhaps disappointment or betrayal by those closest to us. Whatever the case may be, our lives are full of unexpected twists and turns. And it is in these critical moments that the quality of our faith will either help us rise above the current challenges or sink us further down into the abyss. And the being that we put our faith in is not an entity that is separate and distant from our human experience. Rather, in the person of Jesus Christ, we have someone who not only experienced what it is like to be human, but also struggled through and overcame all the hardships when one can go through as a human being. Hunger, fatigue, betrayal, physical pain, and even death. Through this credibility, we can surely believe and experience for ourselves the good news that he is proclaiming. That we are also capable of conquering the hardships of our lives, and we too are able to walk on water if our gaze is ever on our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and empowering day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at maryknollsociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at maryknollmagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.